Okay, let's get going. So yeah, march in. Um, Eddie, I think the cat might need a bit of help. Okay, gently jog on the spot. I'm already too warm now. Just let me take my jumper off. Nice and light on those toes. Okay, let's roll these shoulders. Good. And forwards. Good, let's do big arm circles. Good. And let's go the other way. Good. And can you do alternate arm circles? So starting at the top, one going forward, one going backwards. That's way, good. Good, and the other way if you can. Keep going. Good, well done guys. Good. Let's just do gentle torso twists. And then double bounce to one side. Good. Well done guys. Okay, let's do side stretches. So over the top. Hold it there. Good, and then to the other side. And then over again. And then this time, from here, let's reach forward. So keep it a flat back, keep your chin up. Look over the hand and then the other side. Here and then reach forwards. Good. Well done, guys. Hip circles. Third round. Well done. Let me just get this. Good, and the other way. And then push your hip out at one side, feel the stretch down the leg, and the other way. Good, and the other way. Good, let's open those hips. So lift the knee up and open to the side. Get everything nice and limber, <laughs> ready for what we're doing. Good. That's it. Feeling a bit warmer, guys. Good. Okay, let's kick the leg forward. Doesn't matter what height it is. Just gentle leg kicks. You can do these walking if you've got um, if you've got room. Make it a little bit more interesting. Good, and now sideways. Well done guys. If you want, when you're lifting, you can either lift normally and just keep the outside of the foot pointing up or you can rotate slightly in the hip and point the toes upwards, whatever's more comfortable. It's just to get everything moving. Good, and then let's kick them backwards in like a landing position. 
You can walk it backwards as well if it's easier. You can do it on the spot. Good. Good, well done. Okay, let's do some spiral kickbacks. So either hold on to the side of the settee or a wall. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. So this time we're gonna kick them up into spirals. There. I hope your hips don't pop like mine's just done. So we're gonna kick back one. Whatever you're comfortable with, just take it to where you're comfortable. And then swap legs. Good. Good, well done. <coughs> that is super. Good. Now let's try to move the leg in like an arch shape, so like a fan. So you're gonna start with the leg out to the side and you're gonna kick it around. So it's gonna go around and touch down at the opposite side and then back around. So your leg is moving in like a rainbow shape. So if you're here, I'll start here, start my leg out to the side here, it comes up and around and ends up over the opposite side, crossed behind the standing leg and then moves back around, okay? <coughs> well done. So you wanna try and move it, don't take it too slow. If you think it's similar to if you were to do an illusion, going one way, not obviously not moving it back. Good, and then try it on the other leg. You'll probably have a leg that's preferable to the other. Good. Okay, have a drink if you've got one. Let's start then. We're gonna start with some lunges today. You can walk them, you can do them on the spot like we have done for the past few weeks. Just normal lunges, trying to get that nice, Right angle with the back leg, knee down to the floor. Like I said, you can walk it around your room if you're more comfortable. Try and keep your core pulled in tight. Back straight. Good, well done guys. Good, let's progress that now. So we're going to go down, knee up. Remember, don't come up on the toe this time. Down, knee up, down, up. Just working that through movement like the takeoff of the jump. Good. Make sure you do both legs equally. That's brilliant, guys. Well done. Okay, well done. Keep doing what you're doing if you've got, if you're working to the number 10, but let's progress it. And this time as the leg comes through, we're gonna rise up on the toe and bring the arms up. So we'll do 10 of these ones. So we're gonna go down, up, down, yeah, so it'd be 20 in total if you're walking around the room. Try not to wobble like I just did. 
Um, if you're just doing it on the spot, you can do 10 on each leg or you can switch between. It's entirely up to you. You do what's comfortable for you. Good, well done. Yeah, so try not to have it when you bring it through, like here, like in line with the other leg. Try and bring it so it's in front of, well, that's it, yeah, under the knee. Yeah. Super. Good. Okay. Are we ready to move on? Let's just warm up normal squats. So we're gonna do 10. Remember, knees over toes, weight into heels, bottoms going back like we're sitting on a chair. We're just gonna do 10 in your own time. Remember when you get to the top, squeeze the glutes. You feel like you're pushing your hips slightly forwards. Keep your core engaged. Super, well done. I think the cat's come to do some squats as well. I think she's under there still. Okay. And relax. We're going to have a drink if you need one. Now, we're gonna do some sides, so we're gonna to step to the side and do squats. So we're gonna squat, back together, squat. So we're moving it side to side. We're gonna do 10, so it'll be five on each side, okay? And then we're gonna do some squat jumps as well. I think as well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and move them forwards. So we're gonna just put an additional movement onto those that we've been doing, because we've been doing squats, squats with heel raises, everything's been pretty static on the spot. We're gonna add a bit of movement to it today. So we're gonna do squat together, squat together. Now with this, try and get your step even. Make sure that when you bend down, you're right in the middle of your legs. Same thing with the, the hips going back, knees over toes, weight in the heels. Good, well done. Now, some people tend not to like these side squats, which is fine. You can just do them on the spot as well. There's no problem with that. Okay. Now we're gonna try some little squats and jump forward, land in a squat. See if we can just link a few together. See how comfortable you are with doing it. If you feel that that's not gonna be great or comfortable, do squat jumps as we have been doing just on the spot. So when you land, if you land slightly back in the heel, you'll be able to, you know the warm up exercise that we do, the heel toe rocks. You kind of go from your heel, you'll want to take off for the next one. So if you're here, push. So you'll get a little bit of a rhythm. Good Steph, well done. So what I want you to do now is see how far you can jump forwards. So it's the length now. So when we jump normally in skating as well as height, we need length. Super. Brilliant. How does that feel guys? Good? Yeah, that was good. 
Super duper. <laughs> okay, we've warmed ourselves up for jumps, so we might as well carry on down that path today. And then we'll get some spins, I think, done at the end as well, if you wish. Um, so let's just start with, let's start with just jumps today. So we're going to go through and then we might do, we'll do rotation as the focus. And then if we've got time, we'll go through the basic singles. So let's just start with um, jumps, normal jumps, up and down, using your arms, pushing through the toes. Let's do them in blocks of five. Let's do everything in blocks of five for ease. So just five up in the air, working those arms, push as much height as you can on every jump that you do. Is it warm, Jen? It's definitely warm today. I'm gonna to open this window. It's definitely warmer than it has been. Just land on two feet. Good, Michael. Remember, when you jump, you want to keep your legs probably hip to shoulder width apart. Try not to have them right next to each other. You want a sturdy base when you land. And if you're comfortable with that, let's do five jumps. Brilliant height on each. And then let's land in the landing position. Okay. So as high as you can, and then on the last one, hit. So remember when you land, you want your knee to be over your toe, soft in the landing knee. And now, for the sake of it, land on the opposite foot. So let's do five jumps and then land on your other leg. Let's see how we go. feels a lot trickier to me. Try and hold it. Hold. Brilliant. Well done. Fab. Okay. Well done. Okay. Let us do now. I want you to jump and click your heels together. So we're going to jump. Just bring our feet together. Five again. Jump, bring our feet together. And just land on two feet. Concentrating on the quickness of movement of bringing the feet in and out. And if you're feeling super good, let's try the double click in the air. So your feet are going to tap twice in the air if you can. So this is what I'm not very good at. And let's carry that on now. So we've done the clicks, we've done the double clicks maybe, but let's carry that on and move our legs into the rotating position. So for me, left leg in front of the right as I jump, I'm gonna come across, my arms are gonna come in. And then on the last one, if you're comfortable, into your landing position. If you just wanna land on two feet, that's fine though. But we're working that quickness of movement, bringing the legs in. So when we do our rotation and our jumps, we want to snap in as quickly as possible with our arms and our legs. Okay, this time, I want you to do four quarter turns with your rotating legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, Two, three, four. Good. Try and stay on the spot. Good. And go the other way as well. So even though you don't rotate that way, let's go that way with the leg crossing. Super. Super. 
Okay, good. Okay, so let's do them quarter turns again. Good, Mary, well done. So let's do them one way and then you're gonna go into the other way as well. So it means reversing your legs, but let's give it a go. So this is about quickness of, of, of jumping out the floor. So when you land, I want you back up again as quick as you can. One, two, three, four. But at the same time, we're working our arms and legs into the rotating position, what we would do when we jump. So it makes it a little bit trickier. Should we take this to half a turn now? You right, Jen? Should we take this to half a turn? So the same thing. So we're gonna work the rotation position but with half a turn. Good. Brilliant. So really try and work them legs in that position that we need them to be in for when we do like our axles and doubles and everything else. Super. If you're feeling particularly Snazzy today, let's do our hands above the head at the same time. So we've got rotation position and now hands going above the head. So really concentrate on pulling up nice and tall. So this is a little quicker with the arms. Brilliant guys, these um, rotations are getting better. I think she's a bit warm. Right, have a drink. We're gonna do some singles. So we'll stick with the rotation position. We'll do it with it pulled in. Now, if you wanna land on two feet, fine. If you wanna land in landing position, fine. You work to what you're comfortable with. Um, let us do singles. And just go the way, I want you to just go the way that you rotate on this one. Okay, let's see these singles. If you're feeling extra comfortable with rotation, let's put two singles together. Now the first one probably won't be um, crossed as much we're going to do one turn and then the other so i'd say leave your first one with your legs next to each other and then the second one you can cross into landing position let me try it let's hope my glasses don't fall off jen did it with an extra bounce in if you can do it one after the other that would be super it's been a while since i've done one of those good Good, well done. So if you want to have, uh, Michael, that was good. That was quick between both of them then. If you want to have that extra bounce, that's fine. Fantastic, Michael, good height. Now what you want to try and do is try and stay on that spot where you are. Now I know that's the tricky bit because um, I'm sure when I do mine, because I've not done it for so long, I'm here, there and everywhere on the screen. Um, you want to try and pin yourself to a spot. So exactly like when you land on the ice, you want to be nice and straight so that you can land and you can take off for a toe or a loop. Okay, make sure you have drinks, guys, because it's a lot warmer today than it has been for the last two weeks. I don't think there's any skating on uh, frozen puddles today. <laughs> Really, guys, that's super. So what I want to try and do maybe is try and get up to three singles in a row. We'll do one, two, three. So we're doing that quick. It's just that quick movement out the floor, working, you know, through our toes as much as we can for maximal height. Okay. Let us do... We've got plenty of time today. Should we go through waltz jump, axles, sal, double sal, loop, double loops? Should we do those? Okay, let us do then waltz jump. Yep. 
Let's do the waltz jump. Remember, we want to the position that we practice doing the lunges. We want to get that H position, knee through, foot underneath the knee, up on the on the uh, toe when we're jumping to get maximal height. Good, Agnes. And if you've got the room, link two together. Well done, guys. And remember, for those that are maybe starting Axel or want to start Axel soon, do your waltz jump. Keep your leg crossed, open your arms a little bit, and let's hop it around on the circle. So we're here, we're going to do a waltz jump. Hop, hop, hop. And if you want to loop out a bit, you can do. Just to start that feeling of more rotation, Good. Well done. So what you can do is this exercise just to get you a little bit used to rotating because you think a waltz jump, most of you single, your singles are half a turn by the time you've taken off. It's not that much, whereas your axle is a turn and a half. It's quite a big difference. So doing this exercise on the end will just get you a little bit more familiar with that extra rotation. I know it's not the same, but it's a starting point. And if you wanted to start turning in a little bit more, you can just push your waltz jump past the landing position. So... Say, for example, you jump to the forwards a little bit, land on one foot and open. You can just start to introduce more rotation that way. It's a careful way of introducing rotation, I would say, rather than just going straight in for it. Um, but the more you practice off the ice, the more familiar it'll be on the ice, which is always good. Um, and off ice is a massive help to one ice. Trust me, I can vouch for that when I did it many years ago when I skated. Although off ice wasn't as big as it is now. So now we're just pushing that waltz jump a little bit more. Super. Well, well done guys, really well worked. Okay, have a drink. We're gonna do sal calls now. So Jen's favorite from the rotating, hop, hop, hop into your sal call and land. So for this, because it's difficult to replicate off the ice, as you would do it on the ice, um, the hops into it give you a little bit of momentum, which is what we want. Remember to keep your arm position as strong as you can. So for me, I have my left hand in front. It mirrors my left leg. My right hand's behind over my right leg. And I always feel on and off the ice that my arms are in a good position when I can feel it tight in my shoulder here. So I know if it's here, there's no tension. Whereas if I open it here, there's tension. And that puts me in a good position to keep my body up. So while I'm hopping, I keep that tension. And then as the leg and the arm releases, it releases to help improve the height of the jump. So arms in these are just as important as leggies. So good. Yeah. So for me on this, as silly as it sounds, I feel like there's tightness down this glute. So I feel like this side is working, like the muscles in your butt are working. And that coupled with the arm tension helps to whip. Good. So again, for this, if we're gonna start introducing a little bit more rotation, we can do what we did with the waltz jump. We can hop it around, jump, and then hop it around afterwards and either loop out or just open into landing. So we're strengthening the rotation position. The, yeah, you want to feel that your legs, when you're doing these hops, you want to feel that you have control of the leg that's behind. Just like you would if you were doing a three turn, you would know as you turned your three, where that leg was so for me i'd keep it pressed behind 
you don't want it flapping around at the back you want to have tension through it even though there's not it's not weight bearing it's not skating like you still want to have strength running through that leg so the same for when you're hopping you don't want to be hopping and it being like wobbling around you want it to be strong as you hop so it stays relatively still um you know your spinners you could use these for the salco takeoff just to work it so i have got my little piece of material that i use so if i am here and i've got my arms in the position i need i can work that leg coming through on my spinner as well um, some people are comfortable with jumping off the spinners. Um, so depending on how you feel, you could turn and jump your salco off it as well. Um, so remember for this though, you don't want to land back on the spinner. So you need length as well as height on this. You're jumping away your off your spinner. Please don't land back on top of it. <laughs> Good. So it's good for practice in that like leg position and that tension. So really, we're just working that like when we turn in from backwards to forwards for the salco, we're working that movement. Good. Okay. Let's try a loop. Not on your spinner. So this time we're going to hop. I'm on my right leg. Have a drink, have a, a break if you need it, because we have done a lot of jumps today. We've done a lot of leg work. Again, if you're comfortable with this, you can put loop loop one after the other. Good. And remember on the ice, it's as quick as possible. So we need it exactly the same. Brilliant. Well done, guys. If you're feeling comfortable with this, um, take your hands up above your head. Um, just to add that little extra, extra difficulty, engage that core a little bit more. Good, well done. Remember to keep your heads up when you jump, don't look down around them shoulders. Okay, relax, have a drink. I think we'll crack on with 10 minutes of spins. If everybody wants to do that. Yeah, have a drink. Give your legs a, a minute's break because we've done a lot of jumps there. Get them warmed up, just normal upright. For us that don't have a spinner, we can work on some positions. So we can work on our cross toe. We can work on the usual upright position. If you're feeling particularly fancy, you can work on the, when you grab your foot in front of you. Good.
Good. So we can practice, if we're, we've not got a spinner, we can practice the leg coming around and in. Good, well done. Good. Okay, if you want to try cross toe, good, you can do, or back spin. So for us without, we can practice that like quarter turn where we turn over the toe pick ready to pull in for a spin uh, so remember feel that tension i need to get used to my makeshift spinner good now, a few of my pupils say they feel more comfortable spinning on the back foot, on the spinner, than the front foot. I don't know whether that's what, true for you guys, but they attack it a lot more. They, they go into it a little bit with a bit more confidence. Has anybody tried any variations on these? So some of mine do the Y-frame on it, um, either on the front or back leg. So you can do this one, bearing in mind, I can't hit this position very well, where you grab the foot and hold the knee in front of you for an upright variation. A few people use that. Um, I don't know whether you could hit that on a spinner, whether you're comfortable hitting that on a spinner, but sometimes it's nice to try these variations. Um, so as you're trying to grab, you're trying to having to swing this leg up, but just maybe try and bend a little bit more before you push so you can grab it a little bit easier, if that makes sense. Okay, so now for those not using the spinner, let's move from the I and move it out into the Y. So we're going to move the stretch open. And while we're on the spinner, guys, what about, what about sit spin? So remember, your bottom's got to be down behind the standing heel. So it's that squat position again, isn't it? The pistol squat position. Okay, so we've got a couple of minutes left. Have we got enough room for camel? If you haven't, that's fine. We can do an upright or something, but if you've got enough room, let's try the camel. So remember for this, you start, when we do a camel on the ice, our back is already down. So I'd say try and mimic that as much as possible on your spinner. Don't just fling the leg in the air. Remember the leg needs to spiral up so you don't tip like a seesaw. Or you could do illusion because illusions can be done on them. And do your spiral positions, but then you could also practice your illusion on the floor. Bearing in mind... I don't think I can do an illusion. But if you just stood still, I'll try not to kick the leg. You can practice that movement going down with the leg fanning like we did earlier. 
you want your opposite hand to foot going down. So if I'm stood on my left, my right hand is going down to my left toe to give that tip. It is a lot easier on the ice, I've got to say. And do that if, you, if you're doing it on your spinner and then go into an upright spin. So link that as your spin entry and then do an upright spin after it. So your foot will stay on your spinner. And then spin into an upright. Oh, you went into a back spin then. I mean, that would be tricky. Oh, it's raining heavy here. Right, do one more each, guys, because I think we've we've done for today. We've covered quite a lot. Lots of jumps today. And some new spin ideas on the spinner. Good. Brilliant, guys. Really well done. And for the illusion, step into it and go straight away. Don't spin for a bit and then try, because when you're on the ice, it comes... As you step, say, if you were stepping into a spin, it comes on the turn from forwards to backwards. So it'd be that tightening and that tight. You don't have that push before on your spinner, do you? It's like a, an immediate tightening. That's it. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. We've done a lot of leg work there today. Loads of jumps. Squat jumps, super, spins are looking cool.